Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Cocky LeBron makes sick claim about everyone who voted for Trump, realizes big mistake too late. Hollywood entertainers and athletes are woefully out of touch with reality in their multi-million dollar homes, cars, and events. Yet they are completely comfortable commenting on political issues that they have no understanding of. Worst of all, they stereotype people and talk down to them in the media simply because they disagree with the politicians they elected, especially if they are not progressive Democrats. This is exactly why Republicans like President Trump continue to win so much and so well. Recently, LeBron James made comments regarding President Trump, and in all likelihood, he's eating pro right about now. LeBron was interviewed by CNN's Don Lemon this week, and he had a few choice words for Trump. CNN reports. In the interview, James made a reference to football player Colin Kaepernick, whose kneeling protests launched an NFL movement, and fellow NBA star Stephen Curry, who last year said he would not visit the White House after the Golden State Warriors won the championship, prompting the president to disinvite him. He's trying to divide our sport, but at the end of the day, sport is the reason why we all come together, James said. When Lemon asked, what would you say to the president if he was sitting right here? James said I would never sit across from him. He added, I'd sit across from Barack, though. Now let's go back to 2017 when LeBron actually insulted those who voted for Trump. The True Pundit reported. NBA All-Star LeBron James seems unaware of the fact that insulting a large percentage of your fans as ignorant morons because of their political affiliations leads to ruin, a hard lesson that the NFL is very quickly realizing. Showing solidarity with the social justice cause celebro of athletes kneeling during the national anthem, James hit President Trump on Twitter over the weekend for lambasting the protests and calling for boycotts against the NFL. However, his rhetoric against the president went a particularly ill-advised direction when he trashed his supporters during a press conference on Monday. According to James, his home state of Ohio made a mistake voting for Trump because they were uneducated. No matter whether you voted for him or not, you may have made a mistake and that's okay, if you voted for him. It's okay. I've done things for my daughter and realized I shouldn't have gave my daughter that many damn skittles. Maybe I shouldn't have done that, he said. Then he hit at his own fans in the state of Ohio for giving Trump the vote, echoing Hillary's basket of deplorables comments. At the end of the day, I don't think a lot of people was educated, he said. And I think that's one of the biggest problems that we have. When it becomes vote time, people are just not educated on either the individual or what's going on in the state of the world right now. I don't think a lot of people are educated and they make choices and say things that are uneducated. LeBron made a big mistake and he realized it too late, he made a fool of himself in saying that President Trump voters and supporters are not educated. In the process, he said it in one of the most uneducated grammatically incorrect ways, I don't think a lot of people was educated. It is the ultimate height of hypocrisy to point your fingers at someone else insinuating they are low information while simultaneously not even speaking correctly. Perhaps he should take a good long look in the mirror before he starts pointing fingers at hard-working Americans who are entitled to their own opinions and beliefs. In another article from 2017 The Daily Wire reported, No matter whether you voted for him or not, you may have made a mistake and that's okay, if you voted for him. It's okay. I've done things for my daughter and realized I shouldn't have gave my daughter that many damn skittles. Maybe I shouldn't have done that, he said. Then he hit at his own fans in the state of Ohio for giving Trump the vote, echoing Hillary's basket of deplorables comments. At the end of the day, I don't think a lot of people was educated, he said. And I think that's one of the biggest problems that we have. When it becomes vote time, people are just not educated on either the individual or what's going on in the state of the world right now, I don't think a lot of people are educated and they make choices and say things that are uneducated. As Hillary learned. Calling people stupid is not exactly the best recipe to win them over to your side. To LeBron, though, whether the states were educated or not matters little to him, because in the end, they all made the mistake of not voting for Hillary. And am I saying that the people of Ohio wasn't educated? He pondered. Am I saying that some of the other states that voted for him was uneducated? They could have been or they could not have been. But that doesn't mean it was the right choice. Though LeBron supports the athletes taking a knee during the national anthem. He will not be doing the same, since he says people know where he stands. What I say, I think it should hit home for a lot of people that know where I stand, he said. I don't believe I should have to get on my knee for me to even further what I'm talking about.
Lebron also does not believe that kneeling for the national anthem represents any sort of hostility against the United States, saying that it's not about disrespect of the flag and our military and everybody who has made this world free. It is about equality and people having the option, the freedom, to speak about things that they feel that's not just. Perhaps Lebron should leave the politics to the professionals and stick to basketball. After all, we are all good at something, we cannot be great at everything, and basketball is what he is good at, politics not so much. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.